Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop, and today we are tying a famous fly called the Hare's Ear Nymph, and this is on page 30 in the Hairline Fly Tying Material Kit book, and, uh, and we're going to do a variant at the end as well to be able to help you tie it with a flashback uh, and a bead. And so uh, if you need materials, you need beads or any of that kind of stuff, there's, there's links in the description below. But for the standard one, all the materials are in your hairline fly tying kit. And so if you have those ready to go, let's get tying. Okay, so I have a Vivas ADOT Brown that comes in the kit. And starting with that, and I'm just gonna start this on the hook, work my way back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take some hair from the rabbit's face here, and I'm going to I'm going to actually pick this these longer fibers from uh, from the middle of the face, and uh, and we need that, those longer fibers for the tail. You'll get different textures and different uh, lengths and and uh, all sorts of stuff from the different parts of of the rabbit. So I have a clump here. I'm just kind of picking out some of the the long pieces. There's going to be my there's my tail. Try to get those tips as even as possible. So now after the tail, we're gonna tie in the wire. So I have a segment of wire here cut. Now I have some more hair from the rabbit and I'm going to actually take some from, I'm going to take a little bit off the ear as well. Those are short, short spiky, short spiky hairs. And I'm going to mix that with some of that softer, softer stuff from the face. I'm just going to use my fingers to mix this up. Once that's mixed, then I'm going to dub this on the line, but I'm going to start with just with just with half of that. Put the other half down for a second. Don't need a lot, just a thin rope. Kind of working in thirds here. I'm kind of working with a third of the tail, the body, and then the thorax. So, so I'm, I'm gonna wrap my, my wire next. Okay, next I'm going to take the cinnamon tip turkey and I'm going to cut a segment from this. Looks like there was already a piece cut for me. I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to tie this down. because it's going to get pulled over as the wing case. But I want to put that down first. So now I have my other my other rabbit dubbing that I had set aside. Okay, 
you know, I make it a little bit bigger than that body. I'm gonna pull this uh, turkey over the back. Couple wraps, cut that off. I'm gonna save the rest of that to do another one. Then a whip finish. Now you can take your bodkin or your scissors and uh, you wanna tease out this, these fibers underneath the, uh, the thorax here. Be careful, there are, there's, you know, you have thread in there too, right? So. There you go. Now let's do a beadhead flashback variant. So this is on the size 12 hook with a 3.2 millimeter uh, bead in copper. Tie my wire. So this one, just to show, you know, you have different colors. So I even pulled a little bit of this lighter color from here just to mix up the color on this fly a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna mix my dubbing together, get a good blend. Okay, so now I'm going to take my pearlescent uh, flat tinsel and I'm going to tie I'm going to tie this in and then I'm going to take that turkey piece Tie that guy in too, same spot. Now back to the dubbing. I'm going to then pull my turkey over the back. Then I'm going to pull my flash over the, the back, make sure it doesn't slide on you. Pitch and whip finish. And then I'm going to tease out those fibers underneath. There we go. 
Hey, I hope this video was helpful helping you getting started tying flies and tying up some hares ear nymphs. If you have any questions, put those in the comment below. We will be happy to answer any of those. We really want to help new tires uh, get started with tying flies. Make sure you subscribe to our channel as well so you get updated with all the new videos coming out. And thanks for joining us today.